fellow St. Lucians, this is Oak Mike, and we're now returning to the fourth and final segment of our program today, which has actually been quite interesting, even for me, because I've learned a lot. And what I'm going to do now in the final segment is just to recap quickly what we have discussed. Um, we first started off talking about the pros and cons of an all-inclusive. Uh, uh, based on what we have said today, we're going to try to hook, up, hook that together, that in conjunction with the cruise lines, and um, to travel, to, and also what, how we can uh, enhance travel to the to the region as a result of those entities. Mm -hmm. Ariane, I will say quickly, all inclusive is one way to travel. Mm -hmm. It's it's something that Saint Lucia offer already. It should continue because some people are more secure. Tourists mm -hmm. sometimes are more secure about all inclusive. Yeah but to make sure you're diversifying your offers, yeah. it's part of, but don't see it as enemy or as yeah. negative. And also what we need, to get the question I want to pose to you, is the fact that many Canadians actually fly to Miami to join cruise ships, yeah. okay? Yeah, and also San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Um, do, would you say, Ariane, that when they come down, since the airfares to the States seem to be slightly better, especially Puerto Rico being closer. Mm. Um, we should have some kind of a link between Puerto Rico and Ireland so those people can go to the different islands. Um, maybe even the cruise uh, lines are now so cheap and after one week, you know, although it's lovely and you're on board a ship, it's nice to go on the land yep. and see something different. They can probably choose one island. Maybe we can actually work a deal. The cruise ships always say they want to help us. So I think one of the areas that um, governments need to focus on is maybe talking to the cruise people and say, mm -hmm. okay, fine, when they come down to Puerto Rico, before you send them home, yeah. we give you a special price. They can organize the flights and you can have a three-day trip to, to St. Lucia or Dominica or St. Kitts, wherever the case may be. What's your take on that? I will give an example. My take on that will be Copa Airlines yes. are doing this in Panama. See, they off like they're that. offering yeah. overnight if you stay in Panama for one extra day, uh -huh. you're not paying more. Okay. So that's the type of solution that you can think. Yeah. And it never costs much, much to ask. That's right. So why not if the cruise line saying that they want to help, yeah. why not telling them, is it possible if the people are landing mm. in Puerto Rico yes. to come or for maybe two days? Yeah, before they go back. Yeah. Maybe they want to offer different itineraries. Correct. If St. Lucia will be the pioneer in yeah. doing different things, yeah. maybe people will be more into it. Yeah. Actually, that, that, only, that only just came up to me now while yeah. we're talking based on what we have discussed, you know. And um, you see, another situation is I have spent a lot of time in Panama when I was in the shipping business. And Panama has only improved in the last 20 mm. years tremendously. True. Again, I think, I know people don't like to share, but by the same token, a person coming to Panama for a week mm. from, from, uh, from China, say, they could make deals because we are in constant touch with, uh, we are well supported by Taiwan. We get a lot of money from Taiwan, millions of dollars a year. So, um, and the Taiwan people know of St. Lucia. Yep. So again, they also fly to Panama. And I think with their pull and their connection, they should get together because we need the Copa Airlines coming to St. Lucia. But at the same time, remember when we first started, we spoke about more hotel rooms. And yep. I really like your concept. And I hope St. Lucians are in fact listening to what Aaron has just said, and because it's something I felt we need to start to build more of the smaller homes and the government needs to promote that by way of getting people to come in, meet with the locals, mm -hmm. stay at a, at, a, at a home. We have so many lovely sites to work with them and that will increase our airfare because as you know in business, many people look at the world today and you see big business, but it has been calculated that is really the small businesses that turn the business over. Yep. Right? So um, I just want you to touch now a little bit on the education side yep. for me. Yeah. Students can, fr can, you will have kids all the time anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and the kids need to be stimulated. So if you have kids either from here or students from other islands to come to study on your island, yeah. Offering them an environment, a yeah. stimulated environment where they, they can not only learn what they learn in school, but mm -hmm. they can learn life. Mm -hmm. They can learn by talking to each other. You see, we're just talking since an hour mm -hmm. and 
ideas, ideas pop up, uh, that's right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's the beauty of the multicultural impact yes. of discussing with people from other countries, yeah. other yeah. islands. Because, you know, I know uh, many children, and not a lot, but who actually go abroad to those day camps. Yep. Now, I'm saying, if St. Lucia takes the lead and has a professional day camp, for instance, you, you may not be aware of that, like from the north of the island, that's okay, and the north of the island, we have the Bo Senju Cricket Grounds. Okay. We have Taiwan has put down something like 12 to 14 tennis courts. Wow. Yeah. Swimming pools. Here? And yeah, in St. Lucia. Wow. I'll show it to you. And you see, that would probably be a good area where you can bring people, because, you know, Coca-Cola, for instance, through um, um, a local family called the Debulis, have been bringing um, tennis. They have 15 days of tennis here for the last 30 years. Wow. 30 years. And, you know, you know, you'd be surprised to know hundreds of students from all over the world come here every year. Now, that's a market that's we great. can focus on. They're already coming. They know St. Lucia. They play the tennis. And you can now promote the, the day camps. And if you link tennis with, with tourism, okay. there is groups, That's tennis right. lovers, yeah. who love to go to play tennis. And mm -hmm. when it's called back home, mm -hmm. we like to play outside. So there where are you going to go if St. Yeah. Lucia become yeah. the destination and for I'm tennis sure, players uh, and In and Canada, hobbies. nobody knows that today. No, so I'm just learning it. Yeah. So a person like you, um, it really is important that the Ministry of Tourism meets with a person like you and start to focus on those things because that in turn can help the situation. And the benefits of camps and, and concept, mm -hmm. as I, the concept I'm talking about that I want to bring to St. Lucia, for example, to stimulate the self-confidence because it's the first key of success. Yeah. If you're not self-confident, mm -hmm. you will not go forward in life. Yeah. So it's very important to teach the kids as young as possible right. and to let them grow into these self-confidence concept and symbolics right. and it's removed the pressure on parents shoulders as well right. who has to work anyway what yeah. are they going to do with the kids right. so because they're worrying six about their weeks, kids seven weeks vacation it's, it's a, a long lot. time you know it's a lot. and that's where children go straight because they do nonsense in that period you know and don't yeah. forget that these type of concept you cannot make a concept just with money yeah. it people has to be involved and we're talking about ideas yes. i'm an action person yeah. and i'm not i'm going to walk the talk and i'm going to support any any projects that we discuss about that can involve my business back home, either related to the travel media, mm -hmm. either related to the concept of the day camp, or either related to any type of events I can organize back home mm -hmm. that I can be more than, more than interested to work with you, St. Lucian, mm -hmm. uh, to make this happen. But right. we need people to take responsibilities. Each, individ each individual are responsible. Don't be a victim. Don't yeah. say, oh yeah, we're gonna let the people do it. We're gonna wait that the money come. If there is something I learned as an entrepreneur is never wait for the money come. Create the moment. Create the opportunity. You know, there's an old saying in business, strike while the iron is hot. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people just repeat it, but they don't do it. And as you said, it's important to follow these things to make it happen. Because exactly. nobody's going to make it happen for you if you don't do it yourself. It's also saying, you see, that the Lord helps those that help themselves. And it's not, ju it's not just going to be the two of us yes, who are right. going to be able to change the thing. That's right. So we are part of it yeah. and we invite people to contact yeah. you yeah. or contact me directly. Correct. We're going to give my information, information my yeah. emails. Yeah. So people to contact me or you yeah. and make a difference. Yeah. So then together, yeah. that's the key word, yeah. together we're going to well, make this happen. Solutions, what I will say to you all, those of you who listen to the program, we'll ensure that on the screen, before we are finished, that you will have Ariane's uh, contact number in, in Canada. And um, f with email today, it's, mm -hmm. it's very inexpensive to contact. Skype and, and uh, yeah. do try to follow it up because you know, we keep talking of unemployment and we, as we've said time and time again, government cannot do everything. No. And um, we are now, this program is specific, uh, specifically designed to provide information to the public. And um, don't not just let it slip away because you all have to help yourselves. We're living in a world today that's getting more and more competitive. Uh, there are a lot of economies going to be crumbling. We've just mm -hmm. seen what's going to happen in the world. We've seen the price of oil drop tremendously, which means the oil producer in the world will be facing hardships. And there's going to be a, a distinct period of transition where the consumers of oil will, will now be looking at their future to mm -hmm. do things 
that they could not do before. Um, hopefully, this will be a sort of a, what should I say, an indication of where we need to go in life. So please try to put all those facts together, join them so that you all can uh, in turn be successful and, uh, and stop complaining if I may say so. Yeah. But, um, I hope we inspired them today Yes. and give uh, them a bit of our energy. Yes, <laughs> that, that is the important part of what we need to do today. And you know, also, um, as you rightly said earlier, if St. Lucia can take the lead, we have nine islands very close to us, 30 minutes away, and we can set the, the, the pattern for yep. what's going to take place, it will indeed be a plus for St. Lucia. Yep. Um, now, before we finally wind up, um, Ariane, it has been a pleasure having you today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, would you like to just take a couple of minutes just to give an overview of what we discussed and um, what you think of the situation and, and your next move? That's a good point. Um, my next move will definitely to, to keep in touch with St. Lucia, yeah. with all the projects we discussed about, because I'm working on it now in Canada. It's been it's been already implemented mm -hmm. and it's been doing go it's been doing well mm -hmm. so i want to establish it in the islands as well so i am looking for people seriously to help me doing that and um, i truly believe that this all exchanges collaboration between countries yes. can just help and grow the people and th that we become better people yeah. and don't forget the change start by who you decide to be and don't wait for others. Right. As an entrepreneur, I didn't wait for my government to do something for me. I decided to create my job and to work hard, yeah. but work smart. Yeah. And to make these things happen. All what I said, I, I already did it in Canada. Yeah. And I'm now looking to do it somewhere else. Because people were telling me, we like what you do. Yeah. So why not suggesting the idea anywhere else? Yeah. Well... I, for my part, it, um, as I said, it's nice having you here. I can only confirm what you said because this is the same way I started when I was 16 years of age, um, doing what I had to do. I had a, a, a belief in myself of what I could do, but it didn't come easy. There was a lot of effort put into it, but um, I am very pleased to know that today that I've never really relied on anybody for a job. I've been able to create my own yeah. um, future, my own, and and the money was not yes, give it to you. Correct, yeah, you not not given to me. I I worked for it, and uh, I said I worked hard and worked sensibly. Mm. And the, the the wonderful thing, as I look back on my years and I see what we have done, I mean the the the, the, the thousands of so the hundreds of people we have employed over the years, but more importantly the type of money that we, through our own initiative, mm -hmm. was able to generate yeah. and pay out in the form of salaries. And I know for a fact that many people who worked with me over the years have their own businesses today. Good. So that, that's a plus, you know. And don't forget, we are not perfect. That's right. Nobody, we are not perfect. No, Nobody is. Nobody is. I mean, I've made mistakes along the mm. line. There's no question about it. But there's, uh, there's trial and error, you know. And um, I say to St. Lucians today, um, that we should all focus. Uh, is tourism what we know? Uh, it is true. But I've always said repeatedly, don't forget the agricultural sector, which is important. We have to feed ourselves. We spend millions of dollars there in importing uh, food products. I'm not saying we can do all, but we can, in fact, do a lot here. Uh, but also to mention something you brought to my attention recently was the fact that uh, the people on the beaches who are making all these uh, goodies Artists. for the tourists yep. yeah they should indeed be encouraged yep. and um, we take it from there so um, this is open mic uh, coming to the final segment of our fourth of fourth segment fourth and final segment and we want to thank all St. Lucians for listening in to us today and uh, we expect your feedback and hopefully that um, the radio sta the TV station will be corporate enough to put Ariane's um, address on the TV so they can, in fact, um, contact her. I want to thank you so much, and it was nice being with you. This is Open Mic, saying goodbye. <laughs>